the Indian Institute of Science Education and Research Kolkata and I'm in the first year and I was part of the radio astronomy at home uh, group for the past like uh, one month. I, came, I got the opportunity to come to CBS and work under Dr. Ananda Kota personally and I considered that it, I considered myself lucky for that. Um, the initial, initial days were spent on lectures about astronomy and astrophysics. It was, it was very interesting to know some of the concepts regarding uh, the astronomical objects which I didn't know. And the uh, lecture also included introduction to softwares like uh, Skyview, DS9, uh, NET that is the extragalactic database uh, which includes the data about all the papers that, have, that has been submitted uh, regarding a particular object. Uh, the, the first target that we took was the DGSS data. Uh, we analyzed those data and looked for uh, something which was interesting. Uh, the first interesting source that, was, that I found was uh, Double Double Radio Galaxy. This is because it has an episodic activity and uh, uh, unlike a normal radio galaxy with two radio lobes, this has four radio lobes with uh, a gap between their emissions. The theory behind this is not particularly, uh, I mean completely known, but we know that they exist. Now, the uh, days ahead were spent in finding more and more such type of sources and uh, among, among, them I, among them I found some other sources as well, like a uh, normal FR2 radio galaxy, that is the edge, the end is brightened and the uh, area near the core is light. So, I found a radio galaxy with unusually blue, blue, uh, blue core. Okay. So, the core of a radio galaxy is generally considered to be red elliptical. That is the star formation rate is very low. But this one was blue and it had UV emission showing star formation and birth of new and new stars. Now, I cannot uh, confirm this data because I don't have the redshift data, neither the redshift data nor the uh, optical confirmation. So, uh, there is a possibility that this is a spiral galaxy, uh, which is quite rare. The other sources include radio uh, orphan galaxies, which do not have uh, associated uh, host galaxy, and these had uh, high spectral index. Okay. Uh, the experience was one of its kind, and uh, I would uh, like all of you to be part of this uh, this group and uh, all the best to all of you thank you